generator, and even a helicopter that functioned using radio frequencies, a true free energy device that keeps batteries charged continuously. It took me several months to locate him, but when I finally did, it was astonishing. Maxwell is a prime example of the boundless creativity that thrives within our continent, in a major milestone for Africa's technological advancement. The Harari Institute of Science and Technology has formally acknowledged one of the most groundbreaking innovations in the automotive sector. Maxwell Sangolani Chikumbutso, the brilliant mind behind Seth Technologies, has introduced the world's first self-sustaining car, a development that challenges established scientific norms and places Zimbabwe at the forefront of energy innovation. The recognition from HIT's Vice Chancellor, Professor Engineer Quentin K. Hukumu marks an important moment for Africa's technological evolution, speaking before a distinguished audience at the unveiling of Chikumbutso's latest creation. Professor Hukumu's speech carried both scientific credibility and national pride. His words highlighted how innovation has always been the driving force behind human progress as we navigate energy crises, environmental damage, and economic challenges. Technology remains a beacon of hope. It is an honor to witness this historic event. The Introduction of Seth Technologies Pioneering Micronic Energy Technology Today, we are not merely celebrating a major technical accomplishment, but also embracing the birth of a new era in energy innovation. Developed right here on African soil for far too long, Africa has been seen as a consumer rather than a creator of new technologies. Set Technologies is changing this perception. This breakthrough signifies a move towards homegrown solutions to global problems. What makes this achievement even more extraordinary is that this revolutionary advancement was accomplished by one of our own, Maxwell Sangulani Chikumbutso. Maxwell exemplifies the immense potential of African ingenuity. His success serves as an inspiration not just for Zim, but for the entire African continent. Supporting local inventors like Maxwell is more than just a moral duty, it is a strategic necessity for our development and global competitiveness. This statement carries considerable weight. Professor Engineer Quentin K. Hakumu, the Vice Chancellor of the esteemed Harari Institute of Science, and technology has placed his distinguished career and scientific credibility behind Zimbabwe's most innovative inventor, Maxwell Sangulani Chikumbutso. We are among the first in the world to achieve this. We have seen it, we have tested it, and it has been validated beyond our borders. It works. What we possess is called a micronic energy device. But before reaching this stage back in 2013, I had already begun working on it. My journey started in 2003 when I first had the vision I was working on three projects at that time. I became deeply fascinated with radio frequencies, a field in which I have exceptional expertise when it comes to radio frequencies. I have deep knowledge. I have discussed my work with leading experts in the field, including renowned scientists such as Nassim Haramein. I have spoken with top minds in the U.S. and have engaged with some of the greatest scientific thinkers. Many are skeptical because I lack formal education, but my understanding of radio frequencies is solid. Most of my projects are rooted in radio frequencies, and I can confidently say that I grasp them completely. I have documented my discoveries. But who exactly is Maxwell Sangwalani Chikumbutso, the man behind this extraordinary breakthrough? Born in 1980 in Budariro, a densely populated suburb of Harare Chikumbutso grew up in a financially struggling household due to economic hardships he had to drop out of school at the age of 14, cutting short his formal education. However, his lack of academic credentials was more than compensated by his intelligence, relentless curiosity, and natural ability to innovate. Unlike conventional inventors who follow structured academic training, Shikumbutso acquired all his knowledge through self-learning without access to laboratories or mentors. He used discarded electronic parts to build basic devices. One of his earliest achievements was a homemade radio transmitter that successfully broadcasted over a short distance. This was merely the beginning. As a teenager, he designed a digital navigator, a turbine engine, and various electronic systems that astonished those around him. His ability to conceptualize and construct advanced technology without formal education surprised engineers and scientists alike. Chikumbutso has frequently credited his innovations to divine inspiration. He claims that his inventions did not emerge through trial and error, but from vivid visions he received, I started experiencing clear visions. Even when I was awake, I believe God was teaching me directly. I could hear instructions and started experimenting with electronic components. No one ever taught me their names or functions. 
it was all revealed to me, he describes these experiences as revelations that provided him with profound insights into energy and engineering that defy conventional scientific understanding in the late 1000s. 990 s he intensified his experiments creating several functional devices from scrap materials, his research eventually shifted towards sustainable energy solutions, leading to the invention of the Micronic Energy Device in 2009, according to Chikumbozo. The Micronic Energy Device captures radio frequencies from the atmosphere and converts them into usable electrical energy. This groundbreaking technology, when applied to vehicles, eliminates the need for fuel or rechargeable batteries instead. The car continuously draws power from the air, ensuring an uninterrupted energy supply. If proven scalable, this invention could completely revolutionize the global automotive industry, rendering gasoline engines and lithium-ion battery-powered vehicles obsolete. Not only is it environmentally friendly, but it is also a potential game-changer in terms of cost efficiency. Chikumbuto's prototype vehicles featuring Micronic Energy technology boast remarkable performance capabilities, unlimited range, the car never runs out of power unlike traditional electric vehicles that require frequent recharging, high-speed performance the vehicle reaches speeds exceeding 220 kmph and accelerates from 0 to 100 kmph in just 2 seconds in sport mode. Powerful output, the motor generates 160 kW, approximately 215 horsepower, with 320 to 380 Nm of torque, similar to a standard SUV. Energy independence, the car functions as a mobile power source capable of supplying up to 15 kW of electricity to a household when parked. These features have the potential to transform not only the automotive industry, but also energy access in areas with unreliable electricity. The economic impact of mass producing these cars would be enormous, lowering transportation costs, reducing dependency on imported fuel, and promoting clean energy solutions. However, Chikumbutsu's journey has been fraught with challenges. He has faced opposition particularly from powerful players in the oil and automotive industries. He claims that during a visit to Silicon Valley, he and his research partner were poisoned an act he believes was intended to suppress his work despite these setbacks. Chikumbuzo has received recognition at the highest levels. Zimbabwe President Emerson Mangagwa has hailed him as a national treasure, emphasizing the importance of supporting homegrown technology. Plans are in place to establish a manufacturing facility in Zimbabwe to mass-produce these vehicles with estimated production costs around $144,000 per unit. International interest has also surged. Foster Gamble, creator of the Thrive documentary series, sent scientists to test Chikumbuzo's generator in 2018. Their findings confirming its functionality were featured in Thrive 2, which was released in 2020 and translated into multiple languages, bringing global attention to this African innovation. With the official introduction of Chikumbuzo's self-paned vehicle, Zimbabwe is now in the global spotlight. If this technology proves viable on a large scale, it could position Zimbabwe among the leading nations in green energy and transportation. This is not just a triumph for Zimbabwe, but for Africa as a whole, demonstrating the continent's ability to develop groundbreaking solutions. Chikumbuzo's story is one of resilience, brilliance, and unwavering belief in possibility. His journey from humble beginnings to the forefront of technological innovation serves as a powerful inspiration for inventors worldwide. History teaches us that revolutionary ideas often face skepticism before they are embraced. But if Chikumbuzo's vision becomes a reality, his invention will not only transform transportation but also reshape the future of energy forever.